So you've got that $1,400 stimulus check in your bank account right now, and you're doing a happy dance, but at the same time, you're wondering, what am I gonna do with it? There's a lot of options. You could live off of it if you need it, and that's what it's there for, but let's say that you don't need the money, so you're considering maybe blowing it, maybe splurging. If you're in that second category where you're tempted to blow it, there's a much better option, and that is to use it to create passive income for yourself in the future. In this video, I'm gonna give you three ways that you can use your stimulus check to create passive income for yourself in the future. One way is incredibly passive, and the other two require you to do a little bit of work up front, but all of these result in future passive income. If you're new to my channel, I'm Lane. I love to help online entrepreneurs get their message out and make a great income doing it. So if you're into that kind of thing, be sure to subscribe, give this video a like, and let's dive in. So the first thing you could do with your $1,400 is to take it and invest it. Now, I'm not offering investment or financial advice. I'm not an advisor. I'm just some guy on the internet providing some much needed entertainment. <laughs> That being said, if you want a really passive option, you can take all $1,400 and invest it into an index fund. I'm gonna link a really helpful article below from NerdWallet, which explains how to use index funds and particularly how to invest in Vanguard. I don't have a partnership with either one of those, but I do like Vanguard as an investment broker. One of the things I like about them is that their fees are very low, but if you're wondering what an index fund is, an index fund is where you take your money and pull it with a lot of other investors and you invest in hundreds or even thousands of companies at one time. This spreads your money across, or the word is called diversifies your money, so that you're not as at risk as if you invested in one company, which could fail. Of the three options I'm gonna show you, this is by far the most boring, and in my opinion, the least possibly profitable. But if you want something that's truly hands-off, that you can just put your money in it and look the other way and forget about it, this is the option for you. If you put $1,400 in an index fund and it got 7% annual average returns, which is pretty standard, you would have around $10,000 in 30 years. 30 years. So it's not a get rich quick scheme. It's not even a get rich slowly scheme, but it is kind of nice to know that you could either spend your 1400 today or it could just grow over time. That's really the idea. There are two remaining ways to invest your $1,400 in ways that earn you passive income that I'm much more excited to tell you about, so let's get into those right now. Another way to invest your stimulus check is to buy a website. That's right, you can use a website like this, Flippa, Dot com and you can find websites that have actually been making money, whether they make money through their ad revenue because they get enough traffic to get people to their site so that they make money that way, or they make money through affiliate links like they promote products, people go and buy those products, or the websites are a little bit more active where they actually sell a physical product. But either way, you can go on a website like Flippa and you can find websites for as little as free, but I wouldn't buy a free website because you're probably not gonna make much money, but you can buy a website for 500, for 1,000, for 1,400. I did a quick search, just put in $1,400 as my price point, and I found a lot of websites to choose from. And what's cool about this option is you can actually buy a website that already has a proven track record of profitability. You gotta make sure to do your homework because you can't just assume that people are being honest. But if you do your homework and you realize that somebody is being legit and they have been making money on their site and you could buy it for $1,400 or for $1,000 or for $500 and then you could grow that, then that could be something that could in the future make you lots and lots of passive income because it has a disproportionate return, which is how I define passive income. You put in an investment of time or money up front, and then that grows disproportionate to the amount of effort you put in, time you put in, or money you put in. I have not bought a website, but I've built websites that I could possibly sell. And I will say that a website that gets a fair amount of traffic can be a great profitable resource for you. All right, I gotta be honest, the third passive income option is by far my favorite, and we're gonna get into that right now. The third and most exciting way to use your $1,400, and this is what I believe is the most profitable way, is to start an online business, and particularly 
specifically what I'm talking about is an online business where you are helping people with something that you know, something that you have expert knowledge in, or just something that you know more than most people. Maybe you know a lot about gardening, or you know a lot about fitness and health, and maybe there's people who ask you questions all the time about the thing that you know more than anybody else does about. You can take that skill and that knowledge and begin to help people with it. One of the best ways to do this is to start a podcast or start a YouTube channel where you help people with your skill. And then eventually what you can do is build an online course for the people who want to go deeper with you and get more from you than just your free content. And in that course, you can help them solve a specific problem, help them get from A to Z, and really deliver results. It might sound hard and complicated, it's really not. Because I believe everybody has something that is unique to you, and you're good at it, and you don't even realize how good at it you really are, but you're so good at it that most people, when they think about you, they think she is an expert at whatever. He is an expert at whatever. And if you can tap into that and you can communicate that skill and you can teach people how to have it, then you can make an amazing income from it. So I wanna show you very briefly how you can get started with just your $1,400 and honestly, you don't even need all of it. The first thing you're gonna need is a camera. I have good news for you, you already have one, hold on. This, this is your camera. It's literally in your pocket right now or you're probably watching me on your camera right now. If you have an iPhone or any kind of decent smartphone, you've got a camera, you don't have to buy one. Your first consideration is gonna be making sure that you sound good. You got the camera worked out because your iPhone has an awesome camera. You need to sound good, one of the best ways to do that is record yourself in a room that doesn't have a ton of echoes. Bring in some blankets, some pillows, outside of the view of the camera, and boom, you're gonna have decent enough audio to get started. The next thing you need is good lighting. Just stand by a window, make sure it's facing your face. If you do those three things, a camera, decent audio, and good lighting, you are well on your way to being able to do video on anything you want. Now you're gonna start a YouTube channel. This is also free. So, so far, we haven't spent any of your $1,400. Get a YouTube channel, start making videos about the thing that you're passionate about, about the thing that you're expert in. And by the way, if you need help deciding what you're good at, how it can help people, go to lanesebring.com slash super simple. This is my super simple guide to your first $500 online. It'll just walk you through what I'm telling you, but in a much more detailed way, and it will help you get started with building an online business. So go to lanesebring.com slash super simple. Now, at this point, you have a YouTube channel and you're starting to make content. As you begin to build an audience around this idea, the way that you're gonna make money is by launching your first online course. I suggest a mini course, and I have a video right here that's very helpful on how to get started with making your first mini course. The question a lot of people ask is, how do I get people from my YouTube video or my podcast to buying my course? And there's a middle step in between, and that is your email list. If somebody comes to your YouTube channel or listens to your podcast or stumbles onto your website, there's a good chance that they're gonna bounce, right? They're gonna watch your video, they're gonna listen to your episodes, they're gonna read your article, they're gonna say, hey, that was pretty cool, and then they're gonna leave and forget you ever existed. That is nine times out of 10 what happens. So what you wanna do is you wanna capture that person and get them into a database that you own so that you can have a relationship with them so that you can continue to provide them incredibly valuable information around the thing that they signed up for, around the thing that you have expert knowledge in that you're sharing online. In your YouTube videos or in your podcast, you're gonna invite people to download a lead magnet. That's what we call it in the kind of online business space. But all this is is something free that you offer in exchange for their email list. Once you have that in place, every YouTube video, every episode of your podcast, you can say, hey, if you wanna go further with me, if you wanna to go to the next step, then go to, in my case, lanesebring.com slash super simple. Do you see how this works? Once they're on your email list, you can continue to provide them value. And once you have a course, you can offer it to your list. And that is how my business model works start to finish. 
and I'm able to do this full time as my full time income, which is pretty exciting. So this kind of business is incredibly simple, but there's a lot of tools involved in making it happen. You got a website where you put your YouTube videos and maybe blog articles and you post your episodes there from your podcast. You have your email list, so you can send people emails and you can offer them your courses. You also have your sales funnels. This is just a way of describing the process that people go through from opting into your list and being offered your product. You have your sales pages. This is what you put together on your website to offer people your product and describe why it's so valuable. All these different tools are usually represented by a lot of different pieces of software until Kajabi came along. Kajabi is an all-in-one business solution I use it, I recommend it to everybody. And so my suggestion is to get signed up on Kajabi. You're gonna be able to host your website, you're gonna be able to host your email list, you're gonna be able to put your landing pages together, and you're gonna be able to host your online course completely on Kajabi. So if you use my link, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi, you can get started and you get the free trial that Kajabi offers. I'm also gonna give you my free $25,000 course launch email template which is the exact emails that I used to launch my first course, which made over $25,000 in the first three launches. I wanna put that in your hands if you decide to use Kajabi using my link, which is an affiliate link, so part of your payment each month goes back to support this channel. So if you appreciate what we're doing, then definitely use my link. Now, Kajabi combines a lot of different tools and ultimately you save a ton of money, at least I did. When I went from having all these different online tools to having one, I saved about $2,000 a year over what I was spending on all these different things, which I consider to be an investment. I'm investing in these tools that are allowing me to have a reach, create an audience, offer products, and make an income. So I honestly think this is an investment, but I wanna be smart about it. So when I moved over to Kajabi, I'm able to save a lot of money and I'm able to have an even bigger reach with a much simpler way of doing it. I have a whole video right here walking through the pricing on Kajabi and really just examining what you get for the money. But here's what you can do. You can set aside your $1,400 and that can pay for almost a year on Kajabi. And what that will do is it gives you a runway. A year is a long time to get a couple of courses built up, maybe get a membership site built, to get a nice big email list built up and to make that money back. I think if you really went after it, that $1,400 could multiply like crazy within just a year. You gotta put in the work, that's how passive income works. There's nothing really passive about the upfront work in passive income. But instead of blowing the $1,400 or even sticking it in an index fund, if you invest it in an online business, what you're doing is you're investing this in yourself. And there's really no better investment than in you and what you can accomplish with your money. So lanesebring.com slash super simple to find out how to put this together. lanesebring.com slash Kajabi to get started on Kajabi. I wanna give you a bonus way that you can use your $1,400 and this is perhaps the most admirable of all and that is give it away. Give the $1,400 away. Donate it to your church donate it to a charity, donate it to an organization that you believe in, give it to a friend in need. Honestly, more than anything else, giving away money just is incredibly rewarding. So if that's something you wanna do, let me know in the comments below, who would you give your money to if that's what you're gonna do and why? Also, what are some other ways that you can make passive income with your $1,400 that I'm not thinking of? I listed three, let me know what I missed down below. And if you're gonna get started with any of these three, let me know that as well. Be sure to give this video a like and check out this playlist right here, which is all about how to use Kajabi to build an online business. I'll see you in this playlist where we'll talk more about Kajabi right there. So just click right there and I'll see you in that playlist. Thank you.